My B-Goal name is uh, Music. I kind of came up with it on my own. It's, it means uh, sick moves to the music. I, I still can't do it yet, so it's something I strive towards. So my name reminds me of what I need to do. The Freakin' Styles crew has been around since 2006, uh, 2007, sorry. And I've always, want, like, I've seen them when I was in college and I, I was a ballet dancer before. So I saw them on YouTube and I was really impressed and I didn't know things like that happened in uh, India. So I went for a couple of their shows and watched them perform and I was mad, mad impressed. That was when I started searching and looking around for what hip hop actually is. We're always pushing each other. That's what I love about my crew. We always push each other, no matter what. It means your family. And I've learned from all of them, actually. They've all been my teachers. And we all teach each other. And especially when I started off, these were the guys who taught me everything I know, so. Yeah, this is DMC. <laughs> Crazy cats. I think the crew in itself is kind of like a little career for me. Because it has like a little administrative system that we have. So each of us takes care of our own role. Training is very stressful. We've been literally burning ourselves out. But now it's like getting better because we know what we need to do. We've been training that hard. You see, Chori Kapicha is a whole different story. This is for the ladies feeling sexy up and glory. I do, I want to influence the scene big time. I want to be successful for myself as well. Like, I know that this is what I want to be. The crew has to be, you know, like two years later, I want them to look back at our anniversary and say how small it was back then. My name is Afna. I was born here. I was born in Bombay. I grew up in uh, Switzerland. Um, I left Bombay at the age of three with my parents. And I stayed there for about 26 years. I came back about eight years ago. And graffiti is pretty big in, uh, in Geneva. At least it used to be. When I came here, though, you couldn't even find any cans. And it was, uh, it was difficult. I stopped working outside and I started working in, in, a, in a studio. And then I, I decided I wanted to be a full-time artist. That's what I wanted to do. I decided that when I was a kid. And in Bombay, I had the opportunity to start working to, to get a studio to do this full-time. Yeah. Encore. Yeah. Dorian X on this. Check. Uh, one. Kobe. Two. Yeah. Uh. I have a six bit, slick wit, slicker window. I've always liked to be on the outside looking in, more than just, you know, being in the whole system. Even though there is a lot of commercial hip hop, hip hop's always been a little bit outside, and, and especially b-boyism and, and graffiti has always been on the fringes of, of the system. And, uh, and it's, I think in, in big urban areas like, like Bombay, um, you don't really get to exercise too much, you don't really get to spend too much time outdoors. And, and I think people want that now. People are starting, the quality of life as it's improving, people want to spend more time outdoors and, and kids have a lot of energy. So I think 
you know, good if they put it into painting outside. I remember the first day we came to paint out here, we painted Joe's house, and people were like, people would come, come up to us and say, oh, you know what, I, did? I live down the street, like, would you come paint my wall? And, you know, everybody's just really got excited about it. I think it, it creates a sense of community as well. People want to keep the areas clean. I know I can make a statement, but I've been so lost. The broken window theory, which is that if there's vandalism or if there's graffiti in a neighborhood, then immediately that neighborhood is just going to go down. You know, there, there's going to be drug dealers, it's, gonna be, it's just going to become like a, a bad neighborhood. And I think it's, it's actually the other way around here. Heavy bending, I had looking at a place on my temple. And it's a crazy city. Um, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of really good energy. It's a very dynamic city. It has a lot of negative sides too, but I think uh, I think the vibrancy of the city more than makes up for the negative sides, you know? The traffic and the pollution and all that, that pretty much gets negated with, with the, the vibrancy of the people, the common man. With the economic boom, there's a there's a lot of construction going on. There's a lot of uh, a lot of the culture that Bombay actually had. But the identity of Bombay is getting wiped out as we know it. And it's just kind of uh, becoming a lot more gentrified. It's becoming a lot more commercial. Uh, there's malls sprouting up everywhere. It's become a very uh, uh, consumerist culture. Some things are a little more difficult than others, but I think things are difficult for everybody, uh, whether you're a woman or a man or, you know. Day to day can be really difficult out here. But I think it's a good learning experience. Just like the individuals, but express opinions different. What's happening to Dharavi is, uh, is really sad. I mean, those people have been on that land for, for years and years. And at some level, the land, land does belong to them. It used to be marshland, which they kind of drained and, and they took care of it and they made it livable. Bombay didn't care. People in Bombay didn't care about it. The government didn't care about it. Nobody cared about it. And because of now, Bombay has expanded so much so quickly. The developers, rather, the sharks. And they're looking at that land and it's priceless. It's priceless. I mean, a house in Bombay is so expensive and that land is priceless. They need that land. And it's a purely commercial venture and I, I can't think of how many millions of people, how many hundreds of thousands of people are going to get displaced by Dharavi, you know, just moving out. A lot of, um, there's a lot of cottage industries over there, little, uh, little workshops. Uh, it's the biggest recycling unit in, in, in Bombay. And I think, uh, I don't think Bombay would be able to do without it. Bombay wouldn't be as functional as it is without Dharavi. Marathi Paul Padati Pude Marathi Paul Padati Pude Maraj Toran Kare Gandati Kopa De Kaukare Marathi Paul Padati Pude Marathi Paul Padati Pude भवानी जय शिवाजी हे बोलताना तुम्ही जरा विचार करता का तरी राजेंचे नाव असे जोरात ओरड पायपटेच्या तत्वांचा मान खरस का राखताय जात भाषा धर्म देवाच नाव घ्या आणि करा आपले आपले कर्म ज्ञान बा एकनाथ आणि तुकाराम फक्त ऐकू नकोस त्यांना डोळ्यासमोर आण काय कशाला आणि कस ते वागले दुनियाने त्यांना असे वेगळे का टाकले कारण त्यांचे ध्येय होते असामान्य का ताट मानेने जगले लोकमान्य सावरकरांनी काळा पाणी अनुभवले स्वराज्यासाठी का लढले हे मावळे लाखांचा पोशिंदा का जगला पाहिजे सांगा जरा